Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. I'm your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my uncle, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, and most importantly, hit the notification bell. That way you know when we upload new content, Dream Teamers. Remember, hit the notification bell. Very important. We are getting right to it. James Harden. Woo! He finally forced him way out of Houston. He Get finally, me out the West. He Get forced out himself the... out of Houston. LeBron, LeBron is beating us up over here. Yeah, man. James Harden <laughs> is now officially a member of the Brooklyn Nets. He joins Mr. Kyrie Irving and KD. The Barclays, they gave up a lot. What you think? Well, first of all, um, is there anybody else left over there that LeBron need to run out of the West? Cause nah, they all there. They they all gone. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, everyone's gone. Yeah, okay. Any bona fide? I can't even say contenders because Harden wasn't a thorn in his side, anyways. Nah, he was just a name. And I'm not. Yeah. Okay. Let's right. <laughs> yeah. whole other topic. Yeah. <laughs> Let's stay focused on the crybaby. I mean, to the people, man. The, uh, on, on on Harden. You had a lot to say the last couple of days, or maybe even weeks, man. Harden, his body language. I First saw of, it. Well, you, you thought that they would they would, they had a pretty good team. Obviously, he didn't feel that way because he said it the other night that they're not good enough. So it's nine games in, and 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 that's the problem right there. The problem is here. You're a superstar. You're considered one of the best, top five in the league. You can't make that team better. I mean, for for the last two to three years, I heard. And saw him in the MVP race, getting MVPs, and over LeBron. LeBron had less talent. The stars make players better. He, look at the roster he has. He had a pretty good team. Wall. If he and and and, 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 and that's the thing. Wall. The the, the post game after the the drubbing. Of those back to backs that the Lakers gave them, mm-hmm. and then the post game interview of comes with him saying, "This is crazy, Harden. This this is crazy. Uh, we don't have the talent, and we're just not good." No, what's crazy is you made it crazy in Houston. One thing I can tell you about Houston organization. They make some moves that make you twitch during the seasons. He had the keys, though. He had but, the keys. Whatever but that's, he wanted done was done. But that's my point. Those deals and everything that was made was was to satisfy Harden. And the way they viewed him, he had to okay all of that. So they did everything they could for him. And then... This season, he comes in all of a sudden. No, he he's he's not buying in. He, that was the problem because I'm telling you, you watch Houston Rockets. I'm not saying they're going to win no championship, but they can compete. You can't tell me that that team don't have talent. Um, I I believe the Woods. This is his breakout year, and and you got a star holding it up, crying. And that's what he did, man. He got exactly what he wanted. He's on his way to reunite with his boy, KD. Mm. Me, personally, I think that Brooklyn gave up too much. Yeah. What does my opinion matter, right? But they gave up too much. Mm. A lot of draft picks. Levert. First of all, they're not as deep as they once were. Just 24 hours ago, Jared Allen is gone. Prince is in Cleveland with Allen. Mm-hmm. Levert, the sixth man, is gone to Indiana right. via trade. Mm-hmm. So now you have KD, Harden. Kyrie's still a question mark because he still hasn't reported. Who? Mr. Kyrie. <laughs> Dinwiddie, torn ACL. Yeah. DeAndre Jordan, no words. He's not what he, he's, no. he's, he hasn't been since Chris Paul left. Clippers. He haven't been that defensive presence, that I mean, an athletic type of big. He's he's not that anymore. 
So I don't know. Um, I don't know why they were so quick to want to get rid of J- Jared Allen with with the way he play. I mean, but they couldn't come come up with um, a number as far as negotiation goes. Remember, maybe about two weeks ago, that hit a brick wall. Mm-hmm. So he's a, a restricted free agent. So I guess they feared that another team would offer him money that they, they weren't willing to match, and they would yeah. lose him anyway. Right. And it's also blind loyalty. Mm-hmm. KD, Kyrie, Jordan, that's their man. He's not as productive as Jared Allen. So, you, so you basically you're telling me that KD was looking for a, a super team? He needed another star? Do I need to tell you that? <laughs> I just want to hear somebody it else say it. Is. It. Yeah. But he's put more pressure on himself because if they don't win. Wait, wait. Well, first of all, I think. When they don't win. When I don't, don't see win. them winning. No, I don't even see them going to the finals. Because, because that's my take. I don't have them going to the finals. Because I think most teams in the East mm-hmm. match up better with them now that Harden is there. Because they took away, they depleted their defense. reserves and the defense. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's going to be hard because even, first of all, there's so many different caveats. We're all over the place but because this whole subject when it comes to these three individuals, it's been all over the place. Right. No, not these three individuals. KD has been relatively quiet. Yeah. But Kyrie and Harden, you got three superstars mm. on the team. Kyrie never wanted to be a second option. <laughs> but by default on this team, he ended up in the same position he is he was with Braun. But who's, now he's the third option. Who's gonna be the one to take that take that back seat? Because I don't Kyrie's not doing it. Well, common sense would say KD need to be taking the, the big shots always and trying to facilitate for others, but that's never been his game either. He should have the ball in his hand making the decision, whether it's the shot or setting the next man up. But You got you got two other people that has that that that's the core of that game. Well, to Kyrie's defense, he can play off the ball. Harden can't. Yeah, he can play off the ball, but will he? But we're not sure with him in any. Well, well, we can't even say that because you know what, Kyrie has been playing off the ball. He can. I've seen him. Do then Witty. Then Witty was the point. Yeah. Was re- actually running the point. And he can Pe- score from any place on the floor. Yeah, but. He's playing off the ball with who having the ball in their hands. That we don't know. <laughs> that, but that's why we're, we're stating, well, at least for me, I'm stating, we started with Harden forcing him, his way out of Houston, right? All right. And I think what he fails to realize is that the style of play that he's used to playing, no other franchise in the history of the league is going to allow you to do what you did. Maybe. He's better over there with Dan, with, with Dan and Tony. Antonio is an assistant coach, and if you think for one moment that Harden is coming there doing that same crap he was doing in Houston and getting away with it, nah, it's not happening. Well, I don't see him doing anything different. That's what I'm. That's this but is that's exactly his game. Me. Yeah, that's it. And that's another another subject in itself because we are not we certain people anoint players to be things that they're not. He's a scorer, right? That he is, but and he's playing with the best scorer and one of the. Best scorers in the history of the game, Kevin Durant and Kyrie as well. Yep, yeah, but I'm not going to put him up there. Right, but I'm talking about getting the bucket. Kyrie is uh, he's a he's bucket getter. Yeah. He's an assassin. They all assassins. But that's not their issue. Right. Issue is defense, and they were having that issue the entire year. Mm-hmm. Now you've gotten rid of because Jared Allen was probably top five best defensive big man in the league. Yeah. Right. You right. got rid of him. Kyrie wasn't playing D all year. And now you put another perimeter guy out there who doesn't play D either. Right. So now you can score 120 points and still lose. But give up 130. Yeah. Yeah. And you can't ask KD to be that defensive stopper coming off this injury. We all know KD's a defender. A lot yeah. of people, they, he, he is. he's up. He is. But they have KD playing the four. Yeah. That means he's matching up with the Greek freaks mm-hmm. in this world. And that's just too much, man. That's too when the Greek freak is going downhill, I don't I don't I don't I don't think <laughs> I don't think KD can do that. And they don't have the other defenders around him that's gonna help him like like they should. And that's too much energy for him. 
Well, you don't have to look for scoring so much when you got two other scorers out there. But KD is not trying to come off his game for offense. I just can't see that. No. But it goes back to my other point because you mentioned the Bucks. Every team that was right there matches up better with them now. Whether it's Philly, mm-hmm. Milwaukee, Miami, even Boston has a better shot of beating Brooklyn now that they have Harden. And I know people were saying, how is that possible? Because they have three stars. First of all, not all big threes are created equal. It right. takes leadership to make that work. Well, we already know that's the problem. It takes leadership. Yeah. And in order for them to get that, you, you've taken such a big hit as mm-hmm. far as the team morale goes because you got rid of so many of the guys who made it a team. Yeah. yeah. So now you're just a big three with a couple of other players. Now, Jeff Green is a baller. It- um, three point shooter. Um, what's his name? Um, Joe. Is it Joe? Joe Harris. Joe Harris. Mm-hmm. Then you got um, uh, uh, came from the Clippers. Who? Landry. Landry. I'm just telling you who's over there. Mm. That I mean. What Bruce Brown Jr. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll oh. give it to you. I'll give you the that 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 lineup. Let me hold on a second. This... While you looking that up, I'm gonna go back. Boston matches up better with them. Mm-hmm. Milwaukee was already number one seed the last two years. Philly has the size to compete with them now, mm-hmm. bringing in those shooters. Yeah. Um, who else? We have? Miami will always be there in the end. And with KD playing the four, now he has to match up with cats like Bam. That's a lot to ask for, man. He has to get on the boards too, because. I'm but not... it's unfair to him, though. And I, I'm, listen, trust me, nothing what took place, it's not unfair to him. Because nothing took place without him okaying it. Yeah, but maybe, listen, I'm playing devil's advocate here because that's what we do here. We got to look at it from all different spectrums. Right. Who are we to say that? Look when this deal took place. I'm pretty sure the negotiations, the same offers were on the table. But now that Kyrie started bugging out, maybe Katie's like, yo, just do it. No. Nah, just do it. Actually... I'm going to throw a little, another scenario on it. All right, floor's yours, guys. This is why, and this is my belief, I can't prove it and probably never be proven unless somebody tells it. To me, this is why Kyrie is missing in action. Because this deal was already in place, but it was including him. For Harden to get over there to play with Kevin Durant. That's my, and Kyrie... That's why rumors went out that he's going to retire. Because if you if you trade me to Houston, Houston is no need of you, 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 you trying to get, because I'm, I'm going to retire. I believe that's why. Because everything was fine with Brooklyn just, just a week and a half w- ago. W- just out of the blue. But this I, I do understand that this what, what happened with Kyrie. He just flipped like that. But I believe that this, because... If you looked at the body language of the Brooklyn Nets and there was a game where Durant and Kyrie looked like they were getting into it. That was Atlanta. It was Atlanta game, right? And then after that, KD was out, right? For the protocol. For the protocol. Right. And then by the time he's back, Kyrie's acting the fool. After coming off a big win against Utah, and he and he played great, and he played great in that game, but but and so did Allen. So did they bench? I mean, I don't understand. James Harden got a lot to make up for what they got rid of, and 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 the reason why I keep saying most people saying well they they didn't give away much they gave away. Toreen Prince. And, no, you got to remember that Dinwiddie is out. And you got to specify when you, those most people are individuals who don't watch the games. Yeah. Because if you're stating that, you haven't been watching how these in Prince and Allen off the bench, culture changes. They yeah. kept them in games at times. At times, most of the time, those are the ones, their bench is the one that won the game for them. Yeah. Yeah. I've I seen that. And, you, and because they came in and with with defensive energy, mm-hmm. you know, and you got rid of they got rid of a lot of defense, they did. a lot of defense. Um, Allen, I watched him; he was giving 
the Joker issues the other night. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they just they just gave him away like, okay, like we didn't need you. He was a big part of what was going to go great for them this year. Because Jordan, he's not that player. He shouldn't even been starting. But here we That's go. Why Kenny Atkinson isn't there anymore. But here we go. My, this, a legend, Kyrie was right. They don't need a coach because they're the ones making that decision. It's no, there's no way in the world that you you couldn't see who was the better player, and for that team, yeah. because that's why Jared Allen was playing more minutes. So they used to say, "Oh, it doesn't matter who starts." Yeah, it do matter who starts. Jordan should be coming off the bench, but no, Allen don't have to worry about that no more. <laughs> nah, not at all. You don't have to worry about that no more. Nah. So, I mean, to me, I think that Houston and Indiana, for what they think, not as far as big names and all of that, but if you, I watch what the, the moves they made, that was big. They got better. They got better. Especially Definitely. Indiana. Yeah. Indiana got. They, With Levert yeah. over there, I like that. And then if. Olin Depot can get back into form, which he wasn't playing bad anyway. But to go over, because I'm, 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 I'm sold on Houston. I, I like Houston. Look good, man. I, I, I like Houston. It's just that it's, it was hard for them to play when, and and not Paul, uh, uh, um, not Paul Silas, but the son, his son Silas, Steven. Steven Silas. The um, I don't understand why he kept Harden in the game. Especially these last two games that I watched, and with that back to back against LA, because he wasn't, he was he was a liability. Well, they, they let him pretty much dig his own ditch. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And his remarks is what pretty much it was a slap in the face of everyone. Yeah. Everyone who came to training camp, the coaches who came up with a game plan, right. the GM, the owner. We're not good, at, bruh. They gave you the keys to the car for the last four or five years. You got everything you wanted, and you never showed up. I'm not going to say you never showed up. You didn't finish it. In the playoffs, he didn't show up. Come on, Period. man. Y'all go 0 for 27 behind the three-point line in a game seven? And this is what, I, and this is how I look at Houston organization. I always admired how they run it. Because even though those moves were made for Harden, they were moves that made you flinch. Like, whoa, mm-hmm. they got this dude to go along with Harden. If they can make that work, mm-hmm. it made you think. Right? And the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. Mm-hmm. They 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 did the small ball. They did all that. They worked everything around hard and now they want to try something different. They went and got some new pieces and Woods signing to Marcus Cousins. You know, they Woods is i um t- He's gonna be all right. He gonna ball, be all man. right. He's already well, we already know we're on the same page. We yeah. we got a segment on that early on in the season. Exactly. We, yeah. And, and and all he needed was somebody to come in there that, that's trying to establish something. And Harden wasn't trying to establish nothing there with them. Yeah. He really wasn't. The problem is with, with, with Harden's decision making as far as what he wanted, mm-hmm. and even what the Nets did, is an antiquated way of thinking. Everyone is still trying to chase Golden State what they've done. The league has changed. If yeah. you watch ball, it'll pass you by pretty fast. Right. Small ball is cute. But if you don't have a defensive stop with people getting on the boards or even the – It's people, even misconception with Golden State. Yeah. They play defense. That's what it was. People don't understand. They did that. Up. They come down and they'll smash you and hit eight to nine threes back to back to back. But come on the other end and lock you down. They'll lock you down. Lock you completely down while they just score 20 – Points or for threes, and not even a minute went off the clock. Sounds How many like exaggeration? He, but it's real. It's for real. That's what Golden it. State was doing. But that only people quarter. look at the threes that they were hitting. They wasn't paying attention to the fact that they was playing defense, and that's what was wrong with Houston. Y'all hitting threes, but y'all ain't playing no D. You giving away a layup on this other end, and you hit a three, but. You're hitting this three with the shot after you done dribbled down, dribble, 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 and the shot clock is running down, and you hit a three. But that's why they couldn't beat Golden State, because Golden State, you hit hard and work, 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 take a bad shot and bang it, hits it, hit it, and then get back on the other side, and within five seconds, they done hit a three. 
you missed three each time they scored. Because they made you take a tough shot. No, no doubt. That, that, that's a valid point, man. Defense. Defense that's the key. And where is that coming from in Brooklyn? But I can tell you, we, we talking about the trade, and we keep talking about the trade concerning Brooklyn, but Indiana with, with, with Levert over there and Houston with Olin Depot, I think that's going to work if, if, if they can get some chemistry going. You said that. Right. In the Western Conference preview, you said Harden, whether he's there or not, you can see them finishing top four. Oh, exactly. Oladipo is not a Harden. No. But he, he provides more balance. Exactly. Because he'll D up. Yeah. And he'll buy in to a certain degree. You know he I mean? has no choice. Because now he's, I wouldn't say he's on a decline, but at the, he has a lot to prove. I think that he's going to return back to form there. And he'll be all right. Yeah. He can get out and run a little bit mm -hmm. more. Right. I, and Woods is going to make the game a lot easier for them. Yeah. I'm telling you. he's he, uh, And they run no plays for him, and he still gets his numbers. The, 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 you'll see. Yeah. You'll see. Yeah. But Indiana, and even what Cleveland is doing. Cleveland just might, and it sounds crazy, they needed some, some big wings. Terry and Prince, that was big. Not to run the team. Come over there, do the dirty work. Three and D guys yeah. that play defense on the wing and can knock down an open shot. I, I'm all for it. Those those are moves. But only thing I don't understand is they have Allen. I don't understand why Houston didn't keep him or, or or that he didn't go over there. I don't know if they had to make it work financially, but Allen is over in Cleveland. But they are they have three centers over there and Kevin Love. JaVel well, you know, McGee and Drummond, huh? Yeah, but they probably going to try to try to uh, shop Drummond because that's because he's a free agent after this year, right? And I know you got to make the money work and what team would take on that. That's $28 million. Yeah, it's $28 million, right? Yeah. And he's not really – the game, like I said, the game will pass you by so fast. His style of pay, play doesn't really translate to what people were doing right now. Right. But I'm pretty sure there's a team out there that'll, that'll take that, that'll rent a player. Because they have a lot of bigs over there. And that's a valid point. Why didn't Houston take Allen as well as Levert? Right. But but they didn't give up anything. What only thing that Cleveland gave up was was uh Did they give up a draft pick? What what they gave up? I think Exum was in there. Exum. Exum yeah. was in there too. Uh, yeah, I was make, just asking you where was he? I yeah. because I remember in Utah he had a pretty solid game, but But Exum went to did he go to Brooklyn? What did where did he go? Brooklyn. It's, it got to be either uh, Indiana. It has to be Indiana, because I don't think he, he didn't go to Houston. Houston got the. Um, he could have gone to Houston. I, I think he, he went, went to Houston. Houston. Yeah. yeah. Houston. Most people would say that uh, they t not took an L, but they didn't get back what they what they gave. But you got to keep in mind, Harden is thirty one years old. He has mileage on the body, and he's one dimensional. He's just a scorer. You got plenty of draft picks. Oladipo, you can read him up if you decide. Right. John Wall is locked down for maybe the next two years. You have a, a budding young coach who's been in the league, waited 20 years, his opportunity to become a head coach, a yeah. black man. Mm -hmm. Harden pretty much almost ended that if the organization wasn't thinking right. Yeah. Um, They're looking good, man. I they, like it. I like it all the way around the board. I really do. Especially... If, like I said, with Cleveland having three centers and they buy out. I already know what you're going with. JaVale. This dream team is. Listen, we, we talking about Houston here. But my uncle over here, he tried to figure out. I'm trying to get JaVale back home. JaVale back home. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and it sounds, I mean, it sounds crazy. But what JaVale bring to the game is exactly what we need. Watch the game. Yeah. You talk, he referring to the Los Angeles Lakers. Yes. See that. Yeah, but, um. Yeah, Harden got his way out of Houston. Mm -hmm. That's what we love the game. The NBA, man, is like it's exciting. Even when the game not even being played, it's just Fantastic. the news behind it, man. Yeah. And um, I just I feel as though Houston had the best day as far as the trade goes. Mm -hmm. um, Brooklyn, they've got the biggest player as far as star power goes, but I'm a bit apprehensive about that because. Personality-wise, it don't it, fit. It's something different. I don't. Mm. 
I, I can't really put my finger on it, and they gave up too much. In Indiana, I see them now finishing the top three in the East. Yeah, they always right there. Yeah. I don't. I mean, they got a new coach and everything, but they're always right there. Yeah. And I like the what what the the way they're looking right now. And Levert brings what they need. He's he can, he can, he get buckets, man. He get buckets, he and he plays some decent defense. Mm. So yeah, I like it. Yeah, man. It's, wow. Mm. James Harden out in Brooklyn. Yeah. All it takes is for him to get on on stage. And quit. At, <laughs> he quit last night. Yeah. Man. Yes. He quit and and it's amazing. He quit. It's amazing. It's amazing that, yeah. He pouted and he quit. Well, I think, I think after last year in the playoffs, he realized it's not regular season, LeBron. And – we're not. Be- I'm not beating him with this. The squad I had, the squad I used to have, and the squad I have now. I'm not beating him. So you know what? Let me go team up with somebody and to try to beat him. And guess what? I would hope, which I don't think that they're gonna get out of the East anyway. But if they do, I really hope they do. Make it some five. Yes, five. Make it some five. Mm-hmm. Sweet. <laughs> LeBron okayed that. Oh, no doubt. Yeah. That's real. And All he right. knows it. He's petty like that. So listen, man, it, it, it's bigger than talent out here. Some things just come it's down. It's exciting. No doubt, Because now they can stop all this nonsense. All this stuff we've been talking about, it's not even basketball related. Kyrie, he doing Zooms. Like, he can't do the Zoom for politics, fighting for social justice. You're not playing games every day. All of that stuff that he's using for that, that we even touch that. All the stuff he's using uh, 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 as the reason why he's out. But it's no excuse. Today he will come back tomorrow, whenever that he get back. But you never know when he's gonna have another breakdown. Yeah. They need to have a mental health doctor on on the bench with them. Now I'm not. You know what? I think that that's a pretty hot tick. Like they always talk about the mental health aspect. Yes. And that frame of mind, I'm not going to give him that benefit of a doubt until he states it. Some people are just selfish in life. And some people that's are the what most it is. talented people on the mm-hmm. planet, but they lack, um, they, they lack professionalism. Mm-hmm. You can be the greatest. Well, we always talk about Braun. That's mm-hmm. an example. It's not so much that he, is a great basketball player is the, the fact that he doesn't cheat the game. Right. Harden, you come into camp out of shape? Even if you don't want to be there, when you, you get traded, you still got to go play somewhere else, right? You're not even in the mode of the game. Yeah. Huh. Kyrie is unprofessional, man. Everywhere he goes, there's a problem. We talk about this a lot. You even Your whole theory with him feeling as though he was going to be traded so he was going to disappear... But most people would say that's a conspiracy theory, but we've seen it before in Cleveland. Yeah. If you don't trade me, I'm having surgery. Yeah. That's lack of professionalism, yes. man. Yes, yes. End up having to have surgery anyway. You don't support your team in a game seven against your former team because you got to go have a cosmetic surgery. Right. Which mm-hmm. you could have had any time during the regular season. Then you promised that team, and this Boston we're talking about, that you're going to resign with them, and when the season is over, you go sign with Brooklyn. Not only that, then you work your way to get Atkins out of there. He's gone, and now Steve Nash there, and now you're out disappearing somewhere again. Um, man, I don't even want to talk about these clowns no more. Unprofessionalism. Yes, man. no leadership. We no. talked about this in one of the episodes yeah. in Brooklyn. No. What would be their issue? What would be the outcome with them? It was all about leadership, and we see exactly where it is right now no doubt so that pretty much just sums everything up i opened the show up by stating james harden forced him with his way out of houston unprofessionalism right because you can say what you want to say about certain players and i'm going to use braun again because he is the barometer when it comes to professionalism always plays out his contracts yes <laughs> got to be strategic out here a lot of these cats be chasing the bread but not looking ahead three or four years, and now you're frustrated with an organization, even when they gave you the keys to the car. Mm. You didn't do your part. Exactly. Now you put more pressure on you, because if you don't win now, 
What's next? Watch the chaos that comes up in Brooklyn. So listen here. And I'm going to be quiet about it. I'm not even going to speak about these dudes anymore. No until, doubt. Until the chaos come. No doubt. All right. Which might be tomorrow. Yeah. Well, we here at Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. We will yeah. be discussing all of that, man. The NBA, man, the most exciting league Fantastic. on the planet, man. Even when they're not playing games, man, there's so many things going on. So but many can different... we get to the ball now? No doubt, Since man. All this... Can we get the ball now? Yeah, all right. Yeah. We're about to find out, man. Yeah. All right, so y'all tune in, man. Like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. We are here, man. Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. Your host, Earl Team, alongside my co-host, Big Gunk, Allen Team, a dream teamers. We appreciate all y'all out there. Be good. Yeah.